Hey guys, your boy Cooper's and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool Corner where the last time I left off. I played games against Manchester United in the Carlin Cup and Aston Villa in the league. Speaking of Aston Villa in the league, I'm recording this today of Liverpool's slim, and I emphasize slim, win over Aston Villa. And all people are saying, oh, Liverpool are back, Liverpool are back. No, no, we got lucky. We got lucky, thanks to Daniel Sturridge. Hedge. We're not back. No one starts sucking Brendan Rodgers' dick yet. Hey, look, one win does not institute us being back in the race for top four. When we start picking up wins upon wins upon wins, and Brendan Rodgers actually starts getting the team to perform like they should have been from the very first game to now. Oh, 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 there's no time off, there's no breaks. You can't just decide, oh, we'll let those stamps go. It's not important. It's only Man United and West Ham. Well, West Ham, yes, they're not a rival. Man United sure are, but you can't take that game off. And yeah, we beat Villa. We got the three points, but Brendan Rodgers, let, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, let's not uh, uh, tell Lancelot to find work elsewhere just yet. Let's not give Rodgers full job security just yet because this, this, that is one win and it was a slim win oh well, yes it was refreshing to see us score th more than one goal in a game in the first time this season and we still oh, 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 barely won and it's just not good enough. So, let no one. Let's not get carried away just yet, okay? Okay, thanks. Anyway, let's let's focus on playing Norwich, or as they're better known, as the team Luis Suarez always. He's anally fucked whenever he, when he played for us. That was probably the best best news for Norwich when they got promoted. It, yes, we don't have to face Luis Suarez anymore. He won't absolutely rip us to shreds it's anymore. First, praise is whatever God most people from Norwich pray to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anyone from Norwich or anyone who supports Norwich. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we're they they were definitely celebrating not only their promotion when they did get promoted, they were also celebrating. Yay, we don't have to face Spurs anymore. So yeah. Anyway, focusing swiftly back to the game we're playing right now with Bell. Bring prayer. Prayer. Oh, Olsen. Careful, friend. No, you'll knock it into your own goal. Oof.
continue. For a rough play there with the uh, shoulder tackles. Tino to Bell to Nathaniel Klein. Come on, get a good cross in, Nathaniel. Correa! Yes, it's gone in! Angel Correa takes uh, the deadlock five minutes before half time. See, that's why I gave him the nod over at Danny Ings. Danny Ings wasn't performing as he did in preseason. Perez, I think it's his first start in the league. I could be wrong on that. I'd ha I'm going to have to check all the matches to be sure. I think I'm 99% sure it is. And that's his second goal. Which already puts him ahead of... Ings on the goals because Ings only has one. I haven't really decided who my front two are going to be, and Correa just put his name at the top of the list to be that the second striker. He is the red hot favorite right now. He is like the Carlo Ancelotti. I'm like, yeah. I might found I might finally found the strike partnership that's gonna get me all the goals I'm looking for. Cause I'm looking for someone to to stand out, someone to get at least in double digits. No one's gotten three goals yet, let alone I have Two or three players on two. Sturridge still has two. He hasn't scored in a few games. And Coutinho has two goals. And now Correa has two goals. Someone else might be on two goals as well. Oh yeah, Royce. Grand both of those were penalties, but they, they all count. Speaking of Royce, here he is. Speaking of penalties! Royce might is about to become my top goal scorer. <laughs> Malumbu, the back leg, tripped up Royce. He won it, and now he's going to try and score against England keeper John Ruddy, and he's done it. It's 2-0. Royce has scored the th his third of the season. He's the top goal scorer now. Oh, Daniel Sturridge, who is just behind him now. They're yeah, tackling him in delight. And I'll, uh, good there, good block there by uh, Nathaniel Klein. Bail. Come to Korea. Not who I was hoping he would cross it to. Some reason he crossed it to Continuo. I was hoping he would cross it into Sturridge, who was in the box in acres of space. But, uh, I guess Korea had, had different plans. I'll let him go because he, uh, he's already scored a goal in this game. Seriously, they want to be very careful with these challenges. They already can see one penalty. So uh, this referee is not afraid to give him if he sees a foul as one. So 
and he's, I'm sure if it's a free kick, he won't mind getting out the vanishing spray and storage almost post. Getting back on the score sheet. And for Bell. For Rain! Ooh! Rain, who is one of the only players not to score a goal at yet. Try his damn best. Right there. Henderson. Continue. Henderson again. Good defending by Echo. is offside. Bell looks for Correa. Is he onside this time? Yes he is! Oh and he skied it! I'd be mad if he hadn't already scored. I really would. Like I said, the fact that he's actually gotten a goal, which is more than I can say from some of my start. Was like, oh, is that not another penalty? He just got pushed over in the box. That, that would be a penalty in most games. Maybe the referee felt maybe it'd be unfair to give another one. No. It was a clear one. Probably more so than the first one. Wait! <laughs> the ball bounced back up the advertising board and they hit continue on there. Lol. Uh, it's gonna be three points for me. He. He. No comeback from that. Uh, Norwich, I don't think a comeback would be possible. Or about now. Although, four minutes. Although, it flies in this game. Probably take them all four minutes to even get one. In the goal. Yep. Yeah. Didn't even get near the goal. You know when? Very nicely done. And, uh, I'll be using the uh, Europa League to test out my other two strikers, Divock Origi. And Christian Benteke. training to get those youngsters up to scratch. Speaking of getting youngsters up to scratch, that's exactly what this second team is all about. As I find my second group game in the uh, Europa League this time against 
I want to say Swedish team Elspeth? I think they're Swedish. Aren't they? Or am I thinking of a completely different team? Yeah, they are. See, I was right. I was thinking of the right team at all. Anyway. Well, I've heard of this team. See, I think the pool player meant to be friendly when you. Might have been this year, to be honest. Some pool were all over the place in the preseason. I'm told. Well, that was the way. You know, it was on their way to brand new countries. You know, they say, oh, we're going to go to this. Place. 100% only gonna go to that place. past the wall. Unfortunately it was just wide as the goal. Um I just wanna talk to you guys about something. I don't know if you guys uh watch um, if any of you watch and watch, uh, another YouTuber who is mostly career mod as well, uh, MGH, who, uh, he's an Arsenal sport, he does a lot of career mods himself. He recently signed Team Lands for Arsenal. Actually, the video went up, uh, the, the day I'm recording this. So I uh, thank you our subscribers to him you have already seen it, probably. Unless, uh, unless you're not like, checking your YouTube inbox. Although, the YouTube subscriber inbox could be broken. And again. Which... We won't even go into... What, what the fuck is wrong with that thing? Yeah, he signed to the man for eight, eight million. Grant, yes, that was in pounds, but I paid eleven point five million, and I included Fabio Barini. So I got fucking shafted. <laughs> fucking Andelect knew I would probably pay anything for him. And they were like, yeah, let's just randomly put in, yeah, that he has to pay between, I think it was like between 10 and 14, or something like that. It was something crazy like that or something. And MGH, he gets in for 8 million. Granted, that was pounds, but still, in any currency, it should be roughly the same. And Maybe eight million pounds is the same as eleven point five million, but what about Barini? Is he just worthless? Because according to this, he has a value of about seven and a half million, I think it was, which would make that about roughly eighteen and a half, maybe nineteen million. Which means I paid eleven and a half more than I should have. I shouldn't have given them any money. Barini alone would have been enough. 
according to uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not angry. I mean, I'm glad I have Tina Man because I know any team could probably sign him. I mean, if Barcelona or Real Madrid had come in for him, him I would be absolutely up shit creek without a paddle because they would have gone mad with bids, is for sure. And, and not to mention PSG and, of course, money bags themselves. Manchester City, who can just pay whatever the fuck they want for whoever the fuck they want and get away with it. And uh, yes, I will never let that go because this, those financial fair play rules, uh, enforce them or fucking get rid of them. This is a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. It's what they are, the jokes. It's a joke of the system. Because it doesn't mean anything. And while yes, Man City aren't as dominant as they were, say, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah. It's looking a lot better now, but... I mean, I still think they're going to win the league. I can't really see any other team... Giving them a chance, unless this downward spiral form is going to continue. Which, I mean, it could. I mean, obviously it could. It is not. There's no things to stop it. Except, well, Man City themselves. It's, it's, it really is, it's a joke. Anyway, Christian Redhecke, hey, come on. Get a decent crossing. It's not what I had in mind. Might work out though. Or it won't, because the ball won't go to who I'm looking at. I have to go to. Passing seems to be a bit off in this game. And passing and crossing. It doesn't seem to go to who you want it to go to. Please tell me that's a corner. Please tell me that is a corner and not a goal kick. Yes. Diamond. Delory. Hey, Danny. See, this is why you were dropped from the main squad. Alan. Alan, who really needs to impress me somehow. Or to save his local career. Because uh, I am considering selling him in January. Because, uh, especially with the addition of Teeny Man's, I don't already see a place. Added in my version, poor, unfortunately. Oh, man, no. Oh, that would have been a brilliant time to score your first. Look, we'll go. Oh, three, two. What's happening? Ah, oh, foul! Seriously?
Tillman's strike at the goalkeeper. Are you joking me? Alan? Lori, yes! Tiago and Lori! An unlikely source gets me the three points. Yes! And it was actually assisted, I think. Yeah, Joe Allen. I tell him to deliver, and he does. Because Joe, you've just saved Joe Hyde. It took a deflection. I couldn't give a shit. The irony is, my captain is in the second team is Thiago Elori. I'm pretty sure it hit their captain. And I'm pretty sure that's who it deflected off. <laughs> it does not matter. It's in the back of the net. It's three points. Yes. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> oh, I snatched it, boys. That short corner uh, uh, for the win. Literally for the win. <laughs> yes. Tiago Elori, you beast. And Joe Allen. I tell him to deliver, and he does. What a man. What a man. That was brilliant. <laughs> Oh, you could not have written it. I tell him to deliver and he gives me the assist. Elori gets the goal. Did he actually give him the assist? Of course I did. Who was their captain? Sevosom. I'm pretty sure that's the player who he deflected off of to go in. Which is cruel. Cruel. Very, very cruel. But then, you know, defeated Sion. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was... That was... That was thrilling, to say the very least. Yeah. There's a seven point gap in the... E league. Uh, six points from two games in the Europa League. My victory over them leaves Elspog bottom. Then goes our second after their win over Sion. Sion are my next game. So I uh, look forward to playing them. But yeah, Tiago Elori. Whoo! <laughs> hey! Oh, they came up with the goods. Oh, boy. In the next episode, I have a Merseyside derby, which should be... I can't even imagine. That should be crazy and epic as well. I also have... The game against Spurs. So, two away games in the next episode. Two big away games. Against Everton at Goodison. And against Spurs at White Hart Lane. Spurs are currently fifth. Where are Everton? They're eight. So, two tough games as well. Because well, two of those teams are in the top eight. But then, till then... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I got away with it, boys. I really did. It's